Hey, you guys, come in, hashtag, cooking. <clears throat> I'm about to be cooking in the kitchen with my group people. Hello, frog in my throat. I am still recovering from this bronchitis stuff, y'all. Bronchitis ain't no joke. I'm doing a lot better, but it's still, uh, it's still slowing me down just a smidge. But, um, uh, I'm gonna up my ease today. I had some delicious pancakes, um, this morning. So good. And, um, hopefully that, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on it. Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what I bought. I went to Corner Market, um, to grab some groceries for my live in the kitchen and group coaching, um, uh, this morning. And I'm really excited about some of these things that I've got. I'm going to make two suppers. I'm going to um, prep a pie, a lemon pie. And I'm also going to make um, a four-serving drink from Trim Healthy Future. And so, oh, oh, yes. And I'm going to show them how to make a S salad, which I actually have one of those on my YouTube channel. So if any of y'all that are not in group coaching, if you want to check that out, my YouTube channel, you can just search on YouTube Coach Amy, uh, Coach Amy Gaskin, or Southern and Healthy, or Cooking with Coach Amy, you'll find me. Um, so anyway, yeah, okay, so let me show you what I bought. I just had, I just, I'm a little kerbobbled. I had a little conversation with the lady up at the, that was checking me out, and she was just like, borderline not nice about what I was buying. And I don't know, it just kind of aggravated me, but I'm going to get over it. <laughs> I'm going to get over it. I'm not really worried about what she thinks about me, but it was just, I, I think I'm more, like, sad for her. Like, anyway, don't know. people don't know what they don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not being ugly when I use the word ignorant, but, like, she just doesn't know. And I didn't have time. Like, it just wasn't the place for me to be like, oh, but you really should do this, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, it's all good. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I'm going to make, um, oh, I have the book and page number and all the things. Um, taco, Sweet Lime Taco Joe's, THT, page 93. So some of these ingredients are for that. Y'all, I got rogue hairs everywhere. Um, so I got um, about two and a half pounds of, of fresh chicken strips, chicken tenders um, for that. So I got that today. I didn't get very much, so don't, don't think this is a big, huge thing. This will be short. Um... Let's see, this is the Salsa Verde that I went to Corner Market. This is a local store here. Corner, there are Corner Markets everywhere, but it's, um, there's a small one here. Um, and then this is the Salsa Verde I had to get. Normally I get Salsa Verde at the Walmarts, but um, this is late July brand. Um, there was like a generic brand, but this had a little bit better ingredients in my opinion. Both of them, the generic and this one, uh, they're both kind of sugar-free. They are sugar-free, not kind of. They are sugar-free. Um, but that one just looked a little better to me, so that's what I got. Um, I'm also doing ranch hand taco salad, and so I needed pinto beans, so I got a couple of cans of those. That recipe also wants black beans, but a couple of people in my family prefer no black beans, so I'm going to do some brown rice. Um, just one of those small pouches. I showed it last week um, from Walmart, a brown rice. Um, and so... I'm going to use that pouch uh, to do that. I don't have to cook it. Ah, oh, glory. Um, let's see what this other can is. Oh, yeah. I'll say ranch and taco salad wants a little bit of corn. So this is just one of those smaller cans of corn. So I just grabbed that. Um, my people, like, they're 100% in love with corn. So it's just a, it's a little garnish amount, you know? Um, I was very sick with a food poisoning situation over the weekend, and so I did use one of my cans of, like, Progresso chicken noodle soup, so I'm just replacing that. Very impressed that I remembered that, by the way. Very impressed indeed. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. Okay. Oh, yeah. Y'all are going to be this shocked. I'm going to shock your socks off. That I bought some baby cucumbers, uh, little mini cucumbers. Um, just love them. I have them with all the things, and all of my most all of my people eat them, so they go fast at my house. I also got um, some already washed romaine. Um, it looked really good. I've never gotten this before. This is a little more expensive than what I normally do, but this little spot here, pesticide free, really uh, like caught my attention uh, because I do have issues with that personally. Like. Um, I've done some weird hoodoo voodoo testing. I don't know. I don't even want to go into it right now. But 
I don't do good with pesticides, and honestly, most of us don't. But I was like, oh, okay, I'll pay a few extra dollars for this this lettuce and just see if I like it. It's not, not something to probably I'll buy all the time, but I'll have to wash it. That's another win. <laughs> so y'all can just see. I mean, it's be it's very beautiful. Oh, there's two more things in this bag. I didn't know that. I was out of tahini, so I got another uh, thingamajig of that. And I also was out of coconut oil spray, so I got another thingamajig of that. There's that. And I know there's pesticides on everything. I know. Y'all don't write me letters about that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it just looks fun. Okay. All right. Um, for the lemon pie, Ranch Chan Taco Salad, by the way, is THT 200. I'm going to make the lemon pie interim healthy table, page 408. Um, it just sounds good. It just sounds good to me, and I'm going to give it a whirl. Um, I have been paying more attention to my dairy intake just for personal reasons, just to work on reducing inflammation. That is something that I kind of sort of always do, but I will be honest, the last two or three months, I'd gotten a little lack. So I'm tightening up on the dairy low. Okay, that's all that is. But to me, if you're dairy low, cultured dairy is good to have or okay to have from time to time. And so um, this is the low-fat cottage cheese, which is cultured, that I use. This is being called for in that lemon pie recipe. But to stay on the straight and narrow, I did get some Kite Hill dairy-free cream cheese to go in that pie. So where it will not be 100% dairy-free, it will be um, closer, okay? I'm not trying to break my neck to go 100% dairy-free. Honestly, in my life, that is almost impossible. And... Um, I also purchased this. I was out of on plan brown sugar. So this is Trivia Sweet Complete Brown. Just to let you know, if you've never seen this before, it's erythritol, uh, molasses, which is not very much, and uh, stevia. And so this is a really great thing. I like to use this when I make an on plan chocolate chip cookie. Also use this a lot in the holiday season whenever I'm making like a sweet potato casserole and stuff like that. So um, this was um, on sale. I don't remember how much, but I remember there was a little sale thing. It was probably 5 or $6, which is pretty com common around here, um, just to kind of have on hand. And I got some, okay, is it so, so chill, so chill, so chill, so chill, whatever. I call them XO chips. <laughs> oh, I do have my receipts right here. I want to know how much these were because there was a sticker that said three something and there was a sticker that said five something. But I don't know how much they were. They were one of the first things I got. They were $3.99. I should have got another bag. That is a that is a very good deal. Normally they're five or six dollars, these chips. So um that's that's good. Um these are really good. These are crossover for us, okay? And they are on plan because they are white corn and they're on plan oils. Um so these are good to have. I I don't eat them often. Uh, but once I open them, I go ahead and I let my family have some because um, they'll go bad. I do have clients that store their, some of theirs. They'll buy some on sale or they'll find them, you know, out of town or whatever, and they will put them in the freezer. And um, also I have some that have pre-portioned them out, um, like if their people don't eat them or maybe it's just a couple of them in the house and they're not going to eat the chips up. They do pre-portion them out and freeze them. So that's a little tip for you guys. So, I hope that y'all are having a great day. Um, I plan to go live probably tomorrow. I want to talk to all of y'all about my 100 Strong Challenge. So um, stay tuned tomorrow. Um, be sure there should be a button somewhere on here that you can click to be notified when I go live. You can also go to the settings on your phone if you're on my page, Coach Amy Gaskin, where you can um, click your settings. And you can add me to your favorites. I would love for you to do that. It would really make me happy. Thank you so much for following me. And I will talk to you all again later. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.